So it's important also to discuss smart parking schemes that haven't been successful and look at the reasons as to why they might have failed as they aren't all as successful as others. Um, looking at Nice, for example, in France, it was the first smart parking scheme there and it had 10,000 sensors introduced in 13 different parking areas. Um, and so there was a smartphone app designed as well that went along with this system that could show drivers where there were parking spaces available uh, and pay online, sort of cutting out any need to use a pay in the spin machine, uh, streamlining the whole process. Now, the development cost and the deployment cost came to about 15 million euros, um, but most drivers weren't actually satisfied with it. And the sort of underlying issue was whilst the technology was there, um, it had to be improved from different perspectives and wasn't quite, didn't quite meet the mark. Um, there have been other more successful parking schemes. Um, you can look at, for example, San Francisco and Barcelona, as we've already had a look at. Um, but there are also failed projects, as we've been discussing, such as Nice and also in Beijing. Um, so Nice gave up the smart parking uh, solution because of the cultural habits of the French citizens and the lack of technology and a technology that didn't really sort of like meet the standard. In Beijing, sort of on the other hand, um, the authorities didn't consider the integration of different technologies. And this just goes to show how there are many different factors that need to be considered to ensure that smart parking schemes and smart city schemes in general um, are on the whole successful.